Sunday. I am on the elliptical this morning. I'm watching Fit to Fat to Fit. And once I get done here, I'm gonna go get a shower, then make some breakfast. But good morning, good morning. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hey guys, I am going to pick up our grocery order. I have to go to CVS and I have to go get gas. I also wanted to get a little bit of filming done because I filmed first thing this morning whenever I was working out. I was on um, the Nordic track for like 51 minutes. I think I did two miles, so I didn't do it by time. I did it by distance, but I was watching Fit to Fat to Fit while I was working out and I didn't even notice how long I was working out for. So that's the kind of workout I like. But I have been recording kind of all week, like random little snippets on my way to work. So I'm going to put a couple things in here from earlier this week. So it's going to be kind of a week long vlog. So there you go. Gosh, good morning, you guys. I'm having, having a rough day today already. And it's quarter till eight. This morning I hit a deer. <laughs> I have gone 34 years in my life without ever hitting a deer living in Pennsylvania. And this morning I hit a deer taking Quinn to my mother-in-law's. We were not hurt. It's not like it was like a huge car accident, but my car is hurt. I can't open my driver's side door, so that's cool. And the front of my car is like, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice by the way. This isn't like me crying or anything. I'm just losing my voice. I've been on the phone with the insurance company the whole way over and I have to like kind of yell because it's over my Bluetooth, over my car like radio. So that's why my voice is cracking, I'm not crying. Anyways, um, my headlight is pushed in. There's like hair in my headlight. Um, uh, my bottom light underneath my headlight is completely missing. It's dented. Just like literally I can't get out of my driver's side door. So happy Tuesday. Second day of work. Good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm sorry that it's dark out. It must just be an overcast day because it's 730. I would assume that it would be a little brighter right now. But I am on my way to work to my new job. Uh, this is my third day. The last two days have been good, but I haven't, it's just been like orientation. And anywho, I wanted to let you guys know, I wear my seatbelt all the time. If you see me not having this up here, it's because I just have it down here. It's still on. I just have it underneath my arm. Sometimes it digs into my neck and then I'll get like a line right here. So sometimes I just pull it down. I can't remember if I told you guys that Aaron bought a Nordic track, a three-in-one Nordic track. Um, I use it mostly as a stepper because I just can't get the stride down correctly. But I was on it for an hour Sunday night um, watching this weight loss documentary on this Australian woman. I watched, I watch it like probably three times a year just because it's so inspiring. But her name is L, either L or Ellie. I can't remember her full name. Um, Ip. And she is from Australia, and she, I think she's from Australia, but she, it shows her pregnant, and she has her baby, and then nine months later, she enters this, um, like, fitness competition, and it just shows her lose her weight, and she still, every Friday, she, like, doesn't track any of her food, like, she doesn't have a nutritionist, she doesn't go to a gym, she just does everything at home. But it's so inspiring because she just absolutely kills it. So I watched that and instead of focusing on working out, I was just watching that. So I think, I mean, that's what I used to do at the gym. I just watched documentaries, but I just really like watching these weight loss documentaries or weight loss shows when I'm working out because A, I don't think about working out and I'm focused on what I'm watching and B, it's just inspiring to watch that. So, Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. I am on my way to work. 
Today's the fourth day of work at my new job. I showed you guys in my last video what I was planning for breakfast, lunches, and dinners this week. So um, for lunch, I, I'm not eating everything that I showed you. I'm just eating my sandwich, the carrots, and um, the chips. And then I just have like a full thing of water. So for dinner, uh, Monday, and Tuesday I had the chicken and the cauliflower rice stir fry which was delicious and then last night we made spaghetti well we made the carbonata noodles with the spaghetti that no sugar added prego was disgusting if you've tried it and you like it that's wonderful I don't like it at all so I think I'm going to attempt to do the um, Weight Watchers marinara sauce maybe if I'm feeling up to it but yeah that that sauce was not good <laughs> I'm walking a ton at this new job so I have my pedometer on today this is just from Amazon um, I can try to link it down below if you're interested but it did not come with this strap I got a different strap and added it to it but today's the first day I'm wearing my pedometer so I can see how much I actually walk today good morning good morning everybody happy Friday I realized that I think in my last three, two, three videos, I've had this hat on, but it is currently 20 degrees and I'm freezing. And my new jobs, like during COVID, I guess like you weren't allowed to do this before, but you can kind of like dress down. So you can wear like hoodies and jeans and sneakers. And I've been seeing a lot of people with hats on. So I'm wearing my hat today. <laughs> Um, I kind of toned down my makeup for work. I'm not like the first couple of days I wanted to look presentable. So I did my hair, did my makeup. Like I dressed in like a nice sweater and jeans and then like nice boots. But like yesterday I just had my hair in a ponytail with a sweatshirt on today. I just have like, it's, I think it's actually a yoga shirt from American Eagle that has this for the hands and I have my fleece on and my hat on and I didn't even do my hair but yeah kind of like a whole new world for me not really having to get ready it's very nice not having to spend so much time on myself in the morning so I actually got a lot accomplished this morning while I was uh, well when I would normally be getting myself ready I did some stuff for uh, like payroll and my timesheet and stuff like that and got back to some emails and pretty much just like got Quinn stuff ready and spent a little time with her and I got a shower and I got to blow dry my hair and it was just nice this morning being able to take my time and not have to rush and not have to put eyelashes on and all that stuff. If it were up to me, like if we didn't have to wear masks, I would have my glasses on right now, but I cannot stand going even an hour with my glasses on and a mask because it gets so foggy. So a lot of you guys have been leaving comments that you also have been gaining weight over the holidays, which, you know, we're all in the same boat here. I was down like 53 pounds and gained, I ended up gaining almost 15 pounds by the end of it so the highest I was at was on Saturday last Saturday about a week ago and I was a little over 202 pounds and this morning I weighed myself and I was 197.6 two days ago I weighed myself and I was 197.4 I had Chinese food last night I'm not gonna lie they were talking about Chinese food all day yesterday at work and they're ordering out today to get Chinese and I just couldn't stop thinking about it and I was so hungry by the time I got into town I end up getting Chinese food my overall goal is to hit my goal weight which I've reset it was like 150 or 160 and I wanted to get it by my one year which would be the end of this month but let's be realistic that's not going to happen so my new goal is to hit 165, which is, you know, right around 150, right around 160, right around 170. It's in that realm. 
I want to hit that by my 35th birthday, which is August 2nd. So if I lose a pound and a half a week from now to my birthday, that should be like a 40-ish pound loss, which will actually put me down more so to like 150 something, 160. So I'm giving myself a little bit. My goal is like a pound or a pound and a half each week. So we'll see how that works out. So with all of that being said, you guys do know now that I wear my seatbelt all the time. It's just gets uncomfortable and cuts into my neck. So I wear it like that. I feel like I look like absolute garbage today because my hair has been, you see this? Um, I'm pretty sure this is from my curling iron. I never used to put heat on my hair, but I've been curling my hair almost every day. So I'm pretty sure it's breaking. Also, I have not done like anything today other than work out this morning. So like the door wasn't even unlocked to our house until I was leaving right now to go pick up the groceries and it's quarter till three. So it's been kind of a slow day. Well, I just tried to go and pick up my grocery order and apparently now it's different. Hopefully everything will fit in my trunk. I feel like I have a pretty big order this week, so hopefully it fits in there, but I'm gonna stop recording because I don't wanna seem weird when I really put groceries in the back of my car. Okay, I have my groceries. That was actually way nicer than I thought it was gonna be in the future. If they got everything right, I will be doing this again because it's way easier than it used to be. All right, I'm going to go unload all the stuff and then do a haul for you guys. Well, I'm back in my car because they missed so much stuff on my order. I'm so annoyed right now. And I understand like no one's perfect, okay? A hundred dollars of groceries are missing from my order. So it's annoying to me that I have to come back down here when it was a complete SHIT show the first time I was down here. I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff on my list. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood, guys. I don't mean to be so grumpy, I'm sorry.